हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम भाग्यश देशमुख प्रोफेसर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर दिस सेशन इज ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ लीवर इट इज फ्रॉम द कोर्स ऑफ मशीन डिजाइन वन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू डिजाइन अ लीवर सेफ्टी वॉल लेट एस चेक अ प्रॉब्लम a lever loaded safety valve is mounted on a boiler to blow off at a pressure of 1.5 megapascal gauge it is expected that this valve should blow off at a gauge pressure of 1.5 megapascal the effective diameter of the opening of the valve is 50 mm that means valve diameter is 50 the distance between the fulcrum and the dead weights on the lever is 1000 mm the distance between the fulcrum and the pin connecting wall spindle to the lever is 100 mm the lever and the pin are made of plain carbon steel 30c8 that is syt equals 400 newton per mm square and the factor of safety is 5 the permissible bearing pressure at the pins in the lever is 25 newton per mm square the lever has a rectangular cross section and the ratio of width to thickness is 3 is to 1 design a suitable lever for the safety valve here the rectangular cross section is mentioned and the ratio of width to thickness is given and it is 3 is to 1 we need to design a suitable lever for the safety valve now let us see what are the given thing syt value is 400 newton per mm square and factor of safety is given as For valve, the diameter is 50 mm and the blow-off pressure is 1.5 megapascal. For the lever, L1 is 1000, L2 length is 100 mm, and the cross section D by B equals 3. This is the given here. And for the pin, bearing pressure P is 25 newton per mm square. Let us start with the problem. a lever loaded safety valve this is the shell or it is the steam space of the boiler the steam force is exerted upwards this is the typical valve the force is exerted upwards at this fulcrum this lever is allowed to swivel the effort with the dead weights is applied at the free end the length of effort from the fulcrum is taken as l1 and the length l2 is the length of the wall spindle to the fulcrum and the cross section is b into b or b by b is the cross section the rectangular cross section of the lever let us first find out the permissible stresses in the lever Sigma t, we need to calculate the bending stress. Sigma t equals S Y t upon F S. S Y t is given as 400, and factor of safety is 5. We can calculate the permissible stress 80 newton per mm square. Then the tau value, we know that tau is given by S S Y upon F S, or it is 0.5 S Y t upon F S. As per the maximum shear stress theory, we can calculate. Permissible shear stress equals 40 newton per mm square. Then we need to calculate what are the forces acting on the lever. We must be very careful about calculating the forces. The wall blow blows off at a blow off pressure. The force is equal to area pi by 4d square of the wall multiplied by the blow off pressure. the diameter of the wall is 50 and the blow off pressure is 1.5 the force is around 2945 newton the distance l1 and the dead weights p are kept such that when the steam pressure inside the boiler reaches the limiting value the moment f into l2 overcomes the moment p into l1 taking moment of forces p and f about the fulcrum 
f into l1 equals p into l1 or we can calculate the p putting the other values of p comes out to be around 294.52 you can see that this is the force and comparatively what is the effort value it is around 10 times less than that of the force this is due to the lever length lever arm continuing with the forces on the lever the forces acting on the lever we can calculate as the force exerted by the steam reaction will be at the fulcrum place and this is the effort distances are 100 and 1000 considering the equilibrium of forces f equals r plus p or r equals f minus p we can calculate that the other force r is 2650.72 newton the next part is the pin dimension the forces acting on the lever we know that these are the three forces r f and p these are to be used to calculate the pin dimensions force f is 2945 force p is around 294 and force R is around 2650 Newton. It is clear that the pin at the point F is subjected to the maximum force. D1 and L1 are the diameter and the length of the pin at F. We need to assume that L1 equals D1. If you assume L1 equals D1, the pin dimensions are obtained as per the bearing consideration. Force F equals bearing pressure multiplied by D1 into L1, which is the projected area of the pin. We know that for a bearing consideration, we need to take the projected area, which is given by D1 into L1. Therefore, D1 is around 10.85. Let us select some standard value, 12 millimeter. Then checking this pin, as we have designed the pin, we need to check this pin for the shear. Shear stress is given by force upon, as it is a double shear, we need to take two times. The cross section is in the shear, pi by 4 d1 square, where d1 is the diameter of the pin. We can solve and get that tau is 13.02 newton per mm square. This is the induced shear stress which is well below the permissible shear stress. Therefore, the pin design is safe in shear. We have designed the pin for bending and uh, bearing consideration and we have proven, uh, proven that this pin is safe for shear. The forces on the fulcrum pin, the R, it is less than the force acting on the uh, pin at spindle. Hence, we can say that Pin dimension at the fulcrum will be slightly less, but we know that we can think upon this. What is the interchangeability and how interchangeability and parts, part count reduction are related? We have taken diameter of the pin at R equals diameter of the pin at F. Then the dimensions of the lever. A gunmetal bush of 2 mm thickness is stress fitted at the both pin zone in order to reduce the friction. Idea of the boss D1 plus 2 times the thickness, therefore it comes out to be 12 plus 4, 16. OD of the boss, it is to be taken as 2 times the ID, which is equal to 32 mm. We need to calculate the bending moment diagram for the lever. Bending moment will be given by P multiplied by 1000 minus 100. That comes out to be 265068 Newton. This is at the point F, the fulcrum point. 
the given data is liver has a rectangular cross section and the ratio of width to thickness is 3 is to 1 or in other words d equals 3 times b we can use that and calculate sigma d equals m by z use the equation and find out what is d and d now the pinhole at the wall spindle makes the lever weak we need to check the bending stress at the pinhole section the dimensions of the lever are 15 and 45 these are the dimensions we need to add the boss on both the ends so that there is sufficient strength at the pinhole the hole for the pin the cross section is like this 16 32 45 15 and boss increases the overall thickness of the lever becomes 20 at the pin section dimensions of the lever and then we can check mb is known y is half of 45 we can calculate i and then the induced bending stress it is well below the permissible bending stress and hence again we can say that the design is safe thank you